In this video, we're going to cover the quantitative method for determining how long an area needs to be ventilated before it is safe for personnel to enter. A uh, term for this is purge time. How long does the space need to be purged before it's safe for personnel to enter the space? If we were going into a tank, or another type of confined space where there has been some contamination and we want to know how long uh, we need to ventilate before people can enter, that's when you would use this particular quantitative method. Um, here's a problem to go ahead and take a look at one. What is the purge time necessary to reduce the concentration of contaminants from 1,000 parts per million to 50 parts per million in a 15,000 cubic foot tank and the tank is being ventilated at a rate of 2,500 cubic feet per minute. With this information we can calculate how long we need to ventilate before people can enter, before it gets down to that 50 parts per million uh, desired concentration. And here's the formula that we use. Go ahead and talk about the <coughs> different components in the formula. Uh, C sub 1 that's the concentration at time one, which is going to be a thousand. C sub two is the concentration at time two, 50. Uh, flow rate is 2,500 cub cubic feet per minute. And V is the room volume or the volume of the space, 15,000 cubic feet. Now T sub two minus T sub one, that can also be written as delta T, and that's what we're going to be solving for. Delta T is the time. T sub 2 and T sub 1, those are time measures. Delta T is how much time has passed until we reach the 50, 50 parts per million concentration that we're shooting for. Another thing I need to mention, the LN, that is a calculator function for natural logarithms. Uh, in this problem or problems like this using uh, natural logarithms, you'll need to use the LN key at some point in the calculations. Another reason I, I, I recommend the TI-30, it's real easy to use some of these special calculator functions. Um, yeah, we want to know how much time it takes. T sub 2 minus T sub 1 is delta T. Uh, we plug in all of our values and we're solving for delta T. Um, again, C sub 2 is 50 parts per million. Concentration at time 2, 50 parts per million. Concentration when we begin at time 1, when we start the ventilation, that's 1,000 parts per million. Our ventilation rate is 2,500 cubic feet per minute, Q then the volume of the space is 15,000 cubic feet, and that's V. And now we just need to solve for delta T. First step, solving for delta T. Again, we want to isolate delta T on one side of the equal sign. First step is just doing the mathematical operations that we can do. 50 divided by 1,000 and negative 2,500 divided by 15,000. We end up with the natural logarithm of 0.05, equals negative 0.167 times delta t. Now to solve for delta t, we need to divide both sides times uh, negative 0.167 to isolate. And when we do that, we end up with negative 2. Whoop, I missed a step. Let me back up. Let me back up. Sorry about that. We need to take the natural logarithm of 0.05. We take the natural logarithm of 0.05, that is negative 2.996, and that's what our formula looks like after we take the natural logarithm of 0.05. Now we need to isolate both sides. Uh, we need to isolate delta t by dividing both sides by negative 0.167. When we do that, negative, one, negative 0.167 is canceled on the right side, and we end up with negative 2.996 divided by negative 0 0.167 on the left side. When we do that division, we end up with 17.94 minutes. Again, this, this is delta T, this is time. It takes 18 minutes of ventilation 
at 2,500 cubic feet per minute to reduce the concentration to 50 parts per million. If you have any questions, let me know and we'll get those uh, questions answered. I'll see you in the next video.